8,000 feet. I mean, that's, that's higher than a 747 flies. And then on in to La Villa, 815, Lyford, Santa Rosa through 830, that's all going to continue to move on to the east. Let's zoom on into this area because this is where the biggest cluster is right now and the high, most highly impacted area. Boom, there we go. Looking at that, the attributes there, but here we have Ed Couch, here we have Westlaco, and then back on in, that's north of Alamo. It's all east of Edinburgh now. You can breathe for a minute, Edinburgh, uh, but there's another cluster coming into western Hidalgo County. And then there's Santa Rosa. Hold on, Lyford, we're doing it again. And then you see it rolling on down. The heaviest activity up toward the north uh, remains on into Willacy County uh, with the movement at 17 miles an hour going to pass the, through Sa Port Mansfield over the course of the next 10 to 20 minutes. So that's another area. So it's starting to take that co more coherent uh, line form. And, and instead of being three separate clusters, it's now starting to be one long area. So that is a, a way to go in terms of noting what's what. Now, I want to go ahead and talk about the warnings and the watches. Severe thunderstorm warning in effect from Westlaco on north on toward the Willacy County line. There's the Willacy County line right there. That's the line for a dog on Willacy County. And so you've got from Westlaco on north. That warning is in effect until 815. And then we have the next warning out of Willacy that is in effect until 815. And that is continuing uh, on down into Rio Hondo. Harlingen, you are not a part of that. San Benito, you are not a part of that either. But it's a good look off to the west with the last in Star County as far as warnings. And you can see this is in effect until 8.15. Now we can hear some rumbling going on here at the station. We're in Laferia or just east of Laferia. And that's again moving to the east northeast at about 30 miles an hour. So it's still a good clip. I mean, they don't want to give up. They're keeping their speed, that's for sure. Remember, this is all a part of a larger storm system that's moving to the east. Remind everybody as well, everything in the yellow, which is the entire Rio Grande Valley remains in the thunderstorm watch until 10 o'clock. So that's all, everybody, until 10 o'clock this evening. So yeah, this is some of these are starting to die down a bit, but eventually it's all going to come back in and, potential. And we do have a new camera that we want to go ahead and show everyone. This one, I2 at SS206. And, and the really cool thing about this one is you're, oh, oh. so it's, uh, yeah, this is the interchange out there. Uh, you're able shot. to see some of the lightning within the area as well. And look, we're already starting to see some drizzle on the camera there. I actually have two uh, Facebook viewers right now. Uh, one, Susan Kearns, who says that she's seeing some strong winds in Harlingen. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have another viewer who, or a viewer on uh, Facebook right now, saying the power is now out in North Donna in their area. So I'm gonna look up some, uh, some of those AEP numbers, see if I can get uh, at least an update on um, uh, seeing if there's any power outages within the area, Brian. And but you're able to see plenty of showers within the region. And noting the strong winds, uh, again, that's produced by the thunderstorm. When the thunderstorm starts to produce the heavy rain out the front end, that rain is, uh, gra it has friction with air and it forces the air down and out. That's why you get that big whoosh gush before a thunderstorm comes through. And that tells you, hey, it's time to go indoors. Uh, looking at the warning again for eight until 8.15 on from and near Edinburgh. And then again, the warning for Willacy on down into Rio Hondo in uh, um, Cameron County until 8.15 as well. Let's move on to another topic, and that is the hail topic. I'll get rid of these warnings, and then we'll see for ourselves. There we go. Um, uh, where we stand in terms of hail and how it's continuing to push on down through. So let's go here and here, and then we'll notice that the hail feature, yep, there it is, shows all these purple splotches indicate hail. So Port Mansfield, you're still under the gun for that. And not only splotches, but in terms of size, we go down in here, I'm, I'm noticing less white, and that's a positive. There's a 40% chance that this one is producing one inch hail, a 90% chance it's producing some hail of some sort, and this one as well, 80% uh, chance of two inch hail. So this is still our big haymaker right here, uh, moving on in through Willacy County toward Port Mansfield. So if you got a new car or a new truck in Port Mansfield, get that thing covered because here it comes and then we'll take off that and show you just how we basically are looking at this second one as the number two where it has just a little bit of the color in it that demonstrates some of the larger hail still left in it so that tells me that it's dying down 
an inch and a half hail, and that one little belly button right there, and that's it. This is good news. This means that the storm is shrinking or it's pulsing, one or the other. Pulsing is not good because it's, it's going to get a big fresh breath and then make its way along its course. But if it's, if it's dying out, then it'll continue to move. So, <coughs> pardon me, it continues to move on to the east. Elsa, head couch, you're still under the gun there. Let's go back to radar and focus in. Oh boy, yeah, that, that's definitely some good stuff there. Let's uh, go to the hail track and see just how that's all continuing to push on out and across the Rio Grande Valley. Boom, to the DMA we go. This is the track of the hail, the not potential, this is what was picked up by radar and demonstrates that those cells, say I told you, it was all in blotches. Now it's starting to become a, a more of a coherent line moving into the lower valley and, the mid, and through the mid valley. But we've had these great swaths of hail. So I hope that you didn't uh, end up getting too much damage there. The biggest one was this one. This one was producing the three inch hail at one, at one time and then down to two, two and a half inch, moving on in toward uh, north of Edinburgh. That's going to continue to die down. We just showed you the one with the little one and a half inch hail. That was three inch hail earlier on. So that's a promising sign. Over that much time, it's probably not pulsing. It's probably just dying out. And uh, you know they, they become mature, and then they just they rain themselves uh -huh. out, and then they're done. So we have some updated power outage numbers coming in uh, right now. Um, Brad, uh, our news director's in in the studio. He's going to give me some numbers. Uh, oh, they're up. They're up yeah, right they're up. now. You're able to see right now AEP. there on the screen. Yeah. AEP saying 10,459. Uh, Magic Valley saying 4,304. I, I actually have a little bit of a breakdown here. Um, and these are rough averages. We have about 2,500 out in Mission, about 2,500 out near McAllen, about 1,300 uh, uh, outages reported in FAR, about 400 in Edinburgh, about 1,000 in Alamo, and about 200 in Elsa, so these numbers are just flowing back in right now. And I have an update on peak wind gusts as well. Uh, mm. Let me walk over uh, to, to our camera, our camera three over here, so that way we can get those back up again. Sorry to our director, Messi. Um, but I do have some updated wind speeds as well, as you're able to tell. Harlingen now registering at 52 mile per hour wind gusts uh, within the area. We're able to see West Dakota about 45 mile per hour, uh, Edinburgh about 45 miles per hour, and McAllen around 37. You gotta remember, these are wind gusts, not sustained wind speeds. There's a bit of a difference here um, where we're able to see these gusts of winds coming through. Uh, Port Isabel still registering about 30 miles per hour in Brownsville. Hasn't seen any activity yet, so they're still at about 25 miles per hour. But it's these, these numbers that have come through of, of all of these uh, power outages. Um, again, 2,500 in Mission, 2,500 near McAllen. Those are estimates roughly 1,300 in FAR, 1,000 in Alamo. We have some Facebook uh, viewers that have been messaging as well about some of the power outages. Um, there was someone in Combs right now who was saying they we're dealing with some of these strong winds that were coming through the area uh, and we've also been able to see uh, Donna uh, one of our Facebook viewers as well telling us that they've had a power outage there as well so Brian a lot of activity going on right now <laughs> yeah. uh, and you have updated stuff on the radar as well correct yeah indeed and of course we're, we're talking about the storms moving at such a fast pace that despite the heavy rain coming out of them uh, and giving off the the strong wind gusts they're not able to produce a lot of uh, drought relief simply because of that. We'll get to that graphic in just a second. But again, you can see over the course of the next hour how that's expected to continue to push on and away to the east. Uh, that's Hidalgo County, more coming on in, but not quite as ferocious. And then more moving on off and away through Harlingen, raining right now in Lafaria and off toward uh, Harlingen in the next 20 minutes and then on down into Brownsville. So that, that's worth uh, a good look there. And we'll stop the motion on that and we'll get back to just plain radar and see that indeed uh, it is continuing to be certainly a big rainmaker and the hail dying down, that is a good thing. But it's still there. We still have hail being produced by this cell, group of cells here, right here. This one moving on through Ed Couch, Elsa, Monte Alto. And then this one, west of Port Mansfield, that one, I'm getting pretty good at that, uh, west of Port Mansfield, that one is uh, producing hail as well, but less and less and smaller and smaller. That is uh, good news. But still, it's not good news if it's on your car right now. But that's the trend. The trend does take us that way. And putting that back up, we can see 
that that trend has this moving southeast to Port Mansfield, and then this activity trying to run on in toward uh, Laferia and Harlingen. Certainly worth noting. Um, let's see. I want to make sure that the clock is that uh, that clock is incorrect. Uh, so what we need to do? Yeah, it's incorrect. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and restart that or reset that. And yeah. Let me let me first really quickly. I'm going to pull this back up yeah. real quick so we can actually see. We have uh, now severe thunderstorm warnings in effect until 8:45. As you can tell, now moving all the way through Harlingen. Uh, let's go and zoom into this Cameron County area from Harlingen into San Benito, uh, just north of Los Fresnos, which let's be honest, it's still part of Los Fresnos, Bayview, Laguna Vista, Port Isabel, and South Padre Island, um, and then farther up towards the north as well. But Brian, uh, you wanted me to restart yeah. that? No, no, you? no, just go back to that graphic if you would, please. Okay, Once, sweet. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you have to let them refresh themselves. And yeah. That's uh, fine. Anywhere. Press the, any... press the play button. Let's see if that starts okay. it up again. There we go. There you go. You can yep. control it from there. Excellent. And we're seeing all those warnings and remembering that the yellow the yellow overall is for a uh, thunderstorm watch that's in effect until until there you go <laughs> until, now you should we, be able to control there it. we go that's in effect until 10 o'clock this evening and you can see out west we still have our next second generation of thunderstorm activity making its way on in but notice they're smaller they're lighter and they don't seem to be showing the same promise that the other ones have uh, demonstrated. So we'll go on in and pull the map over and let you see how things are passing through on down into Harlingen as well. And of course, the rain is fairly heavy because it, we know that from A, the video, and B, we can hear it, and C, it's producing the strong wind gusts. And there's the latest check right on through Primera and Combs, Santa Rosa, leaving you in just a minute, and the last of it pushing on through Laferia. The sad news is it's moving so fast that we're not able to see how fast it's moving here. Let's get the latest on that one. Um, moving on and around, uh, let's go back over to a bigger view of Cameron County. There we go. We can see that east-southeast at 38 miles an hour. So 38 miles an hour is pretty fast for a thunderstorm, that's for sure. Freddie also has some additional activity. Yeah, you know, list. I'm glad that you brought up Laferia. Yeah. We actually have a camera out in Laferia Hot right dog. now. Let's go ahead and bring that up. It's one of our tech stock cameras. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> I check, told you it was raining. Check that out. <laughs> this one is at I-2 and mile 3 east uh, in Laferia. Thanks to our tech stock cameras that we're able to connect to uh, and you were able to see there uh, all of the rain that's falling just uh, outside of our studio as well. Uh, and you can see plenty of showers coming through. Uh, uh, Brian, it's 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 interesting to see one how quick these storms are moving, um, and, and two um, what little uh, uh, you know uh, what we were talking about 45 not even 30 minutes ago maybe we saw something close by mm -hmm. uh, and it was still sunny skies out there and check yeah. that out and now it's it's absolutely. Uh uh, looking like it's about midnight. <laughs> yes, and, and before I get it back to you, Brian, um, we actually have some updated uh, uh, power outage numbers, um, and now we've actually broken it down, thanks to uh, our, our director, Brad, and our, our technical director, Messi, up there. Um, now you're able to see not only by uh, the company, which is AEP, you're able to see about 10,459 there, but now by county, breaking it down, uh, 9,839 people have power outages in Hidalgo County, about 591 in Star, Magic Valley, Valley reporting about 4,304, uh, with the majority of those obviously in Hidalgo County at 4,100. So a lot of people without power right now, Brian. Yes, and that's probably going to take just a little bit to get back up. So please be patient. I'm sure the power companies are going to do everything they can to get you back online as soon as possible. Now, as far as where it is and where it's going, um, that is not going to the west northwest uh, the cell within there is jogging around inside there so that's why I, I caution there you go as the latest update and now we can see that this group here is continuing its movement ah yes southeast at 30 miles an hour on into the Harlingen area we'll zoom in just a bit more so that becomes just a little bit more apparent right there we go running on southeast at 30 miles an hour see now here's a positive sign i told you the hail getting smaller and less frequent was a good sign that these were dying 35,000 foot tops earlier it was 50. so that's a good thing good thing uh moving through combs primera harlingen over the course of say 8 30 running on down to the southeast at that clip of 30 miles an hour so it's also a little slower and that's good too we need the rain 
So I've been trying to put the uh, silver lining on these thunderstorms, and it's not just about the aggressive winds and the damaging hail. It's about also the life-giving rain that comes with them. And you can see that passing through Palm Valley and Combs and down into Harlingen as well. Let's go ahead and take a closer look down in to uh, Harlingen and Palm Valley, and down we go. And uh-oh. Let's see now. It's going to be we, interesting. Uh, we have another warning box showing yes, up there. Yes, I was and about to say that right that's now. Got my, that's got my spidey senses telling me something ain't right. So let's go ahead and look at that and pick these out and then go back out into Cameron County and then see what's up and then get our warnings up. Okay. So we've had, have we had another thunderstorm warning? Let's just check here. Thunderstorm warning until 845. Yeah. That's a plus that we know now that it's until 845 for everyone inside of Harlingen, Rio Hondo, San Benito, and on east, Arroyo City. You're in that as well. La Feria, this is in effect until 845 for another 30 minutes as all this moves to the east-southeast at 30 miles an hour. But, Freddie, if you would check to make sure yeah, that I'm, um, I'm we didn't have some other, other warning in there that... Um, would ruin my day. Uh, basically looking at uh, this activity pushing to the east, it's not going to be long until we end up with at least some act action pushing through uh, San Benito again, more of it on the on the west side here, and through more through Rio Hondo. Rio Hondo, you're going to get kind of a double Brian, slap here. Brian, would you step out real yeah, quick? Hold let me on. do that. I, I want to check R something. Rio real Hondo, quick. you're you're going to have a second slap because you had the uh, the southern edge of the first group of thunderstorms push through, and then another one push through um, out of the. Uh, west. So okay. now you're going to get the second one moving on through. I just wanted to confirm nothing yeah. swirly popped up out yeah. there, but no, it looks like we only still have the three right now. It we must have, have been an overlay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a little concerned there yeah. when I saw it. <laughs> that box was looking a little crimson. <laughs> uh, so we, hold on, let me put you, uh, okay, go ahead and push play and you'll, you'll have right, control you again. The next one. There, there we you go. go. All right, so again, all these thunderstorm warnings and thunderstorm watch still pl in play as all this moves to the east. I put the, the arrows up again uh, just to demonstrate um, how this is all moving. This is south of the border, and that's going to be an issue uh, out of Reynosa as this heads maybe on toward um, Ma uh, Matamoros and maybe the southern end of Brownsville and the port. So that's another grouping. See, Rio Hondo gets two groups to pass through. Brownsville may get this group passed through on the north, and then this one coming in from the west over the course of time. So yeah, you have to track all of these with a keen eye to figure out who's going where and at what speed and what these storms deliver. Can Freddy. we zoom into Harlingen real Absolutely. quick? Because uh, uh, I have a camera there that I want to show in just a bit. So if we can zoom in right there, yeah. So we can check that out. Check that out, moving through I-69. Yeah, that's, that's continuing to move on in. And it's continuing to move in at a pretty good pace. Again, that southeast movement is 30 miles an hour, pushing through combs here uh, the next three minutes. And then, well, most of it's already moved through combs, but I mean, this area up here coming to the southeast will push through yeah. combs again, okay. helping to reinforce that. And then moving on in, hail, uh, inch and three quarters, still potential around the combs area uh, with. Um, 100% uh, for some hail at least. Oh, so yeah. combs get ready up and down Wilson Road. It's going to be uh, no no good. And then I'm back in through combs itself. And the Rio Hondo, as I said, there was your first hit, and then your second hit is coming on with this next batch pushing to the east. Uh, Rio Hondo, you're looking at 8:36 uh, in the evening. So Le it's let's coming go ahead and show soon. them. Let's show them what they're going to be expecting yeah. right now. Check. <laughs> Check that out. This is, uh, again, from TextDot, one of the cameras out there. Uh, this is on I-69 and Wilson Road. Uh, so this is pitch black out there right now, Brian. Um, 818, so it, it is getting darker in spots, but uh, hazard lights everywhere. Uh, you can't even see anything uh, showing how dark it is within this area. Uh, I know this area very, very well, but um, yeah, strong, strong uh, winds within this region. Uh, and this is just that spot you were showing. Um, but... Uh, you can even see some of the lightning within that area. Uh, but, Brian, if you want to uh, show them one more time in that area, uh, it was just that spot I was showing you. Sure, let's get back to the, um, to the graphic uh, with the map, and then we'll let everybody see just how this is continuing to make its move to the uh, east-southeast. That's, again, something that is full of heavy rain. You can hear Freddie's mic in the background with all the rain out there. <laughs> and you run on through, and that's going to continue to be an issue for those of you in Bayview, in San Benito, and everybody all along this line in through Cameron County. 
back it on out to the whole county. Let's go out to the whole viewing area and see just how this is continuing to play. Because we've noted that this could be a potential for not only Matamoros, but Brownsville as it makes its way east-southeast. And then this activity pushing on out of Harlingen towards San Benito to give you another shot. And then on down into Los Fresnos. And this is, uh, this is dying away. I don't think that's going to be so much of a player. And then the activity in Starr County, um, that's going to continue. I, I see that that ref the updated image there on the southern edge of that looking like a hook echo, but I think that's pretty much just the development on the south side rather than anything too threatening. But the threatening part of it would be the hail associated with it. So, and that's something I think we need to take a look at again, kind of uh, get a refresher here on, on where we stand with the hail uh, across the Rio Grande Valley. So we'll go back here and look at this, and then we can see, get rid of the skits, the arrows. Now, Yep, see, I, I saw that and said to myself, self, I bet that thing is generating some good hail. And by good, I mean bad. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, potentially uh, three plus inches there. But that's rural Star County, and it's moving to uh, the east. So we'll see how that plays out uh, for Hidalgo County here before too long. Some of the hail associated with that cluster south of Reynosa, that's got an inch and a half potential right there in it and we're still talking about that was the former hail maker now moving over the Laguna Madre okay maybe that's got some potential to generate hail on in towards South Padre Island it's still producing inch and a half hail and of course uh, what's coming in on and around Harlingen two inch hail so that's still a maker still a player uh, right on in from Harlingen north uh, northwest on into Combs pushing out now and north heading on out of Harlingen, so Rio Hondo, you could potentially see some of the hail that might come as that pushes to the east and southeast, San Benito, and uh, then moving on down uh, 77 toward Los Fresnos, if it, it manages the southern edge of it, moves along Highway 100, and then what south of McAllen should pretty much stay south of McAllen. Yes, Fred. Uh, I actually have some updated power outage numbers. Let's go ahead and take a look at those while okay. you uh, get your next thing ready real quick. Uh, you're able to see uh, these are the newest numbers that have just come out. AEP now at 11,735 people out of power. Uh, in Hidalgo County, that's 9,969, with Cameron County at around 1,000. And 10. So obviously, the bulk of them out towards Hidalgo County. Magic Valley also updating their numbers with uh, 4,355. That's up a couple of hundred from earlier, with Hidalgo County again taking up almost uh, like almost 100% of it at 4,222. Uh, so that's just showing uh, one where the uh, strongest storms were. In fact, Brian, if you could look real quick, I thought I saw something about the uh, Hidalgo County. Watch or warning. Um, yes. I, I don't know. Yeah, it was canceled. You see, uh, yeah. they canceled that out. Uh, they're bringing up the graphics already. Um, yeah. But they canceled the one in Hidalgo County right now, uh, and a majority of it now out towards Cameron County. And of course, the one associated with the uh, heavy duty activity in Star County, that is called a destructive severe thunderstorm warning. That is one step, it's uh, a new step, but it's kind of one step above. That's, it has the three inch hail but it is over very rural Star County and then running on and it's continuing to move thankfully to the northeast um, but we look at the latest thunderstorm warning for Harlingen on into Los Fresnos and a bulk of Cameron County let me grab a hold of that and that's in effect until 845 for Cameron County and the southern edge of Willacy County so again Los Fresnos Harlingen, all points in between, and back in toward Bayview, and then on towards South Padre Island. Uh, one and a half inch hail in this cluster moving over the Laguna Madre, and then one and a half inch hail here, uh, one and a half to two inch hail, still north of Harlingen that is continuing to move to the east southeast at 30 miles an hour. So it's all within this area of purple that we see the most aggressive activity and here you are Rio Hondo right there so yeah it would be no time at all before you are under the gun for that so again that's it's time to stay indoors and just let the storm pass and uh, and, and, and let it go um, no sense of being outside for that you saw the video uh, showing just what was going on in terms of the roads road conditions where the storms are passing through not good 
We'll make sure you can see where the storms are passing through. I, I like to give everybody a big clean reference point so that you can get your, your, your bearings here in terms of, okay, where is everything and where is, it, is anything heading to me? So you can judge for yourself. I'm going to put it in motion. You can judge for yourself just how it's continuing to move. I can put it in motion another way here too that we'll go ahead and go to future radar and let you see where it's going to. And there you see, pushing on, uh, eventually on in toward the east-southeast on parts. But now look, that part, the back end is moving northeast, thankfully, because that is a big bear of a cell there. And then all this is moving to the southeast, on in through. So what we see now off in Mexico, moving on into the McAllen area in the next hour, and then what we now have uh, south of Reynosa, that moving on down along the line. That's why I had concerns that this was eventually going to move in to the Brownsville area and the Matamoros area. And again, the first group moving on through Los Fresnos, that's actually group two, 2A and 2B. And then the next one moves on through Harlingen. So Harlingen gets a northern piece of that cluster. Uh, it's like playing whack-a-mole out here. These little clusters are popping up uh, here and there and refusing to get into line. There's dissension in the ranks, and these cells are not playing ball nicely. They're just popping up and going as they please. But at least we have this ugly beast out here continuing to move away from the populated portions. Now, El South, you might get clipped with some of that, but I want to remind everybody that that's three-inch hail there. That's, that's, woo, that's really bad. So that's, that's something we don't want to see uh, damaging anybody's property. That's well north of Roma, and it's going to continue to move off and away. Put an arrow on that. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, there you can see, boop. And there it goes, 40 miles an hour moving to the northeast. And uh, yeah, it's it really uh, past El Salas and Falcon uh, heading on toward the northeast. That's, uh, and, and to only be 36,000 feet tall and generating that kind of hail, that tells me that there is that cold layer of air in the sweet spot. And that's why that's happening. Freddie? Uh, Brian, you know, uh, thankfully, with the severe threat now ending with Hidalgo County, the concern now is for Cameron County. We actually have another camera that we want to show uh, everyone at home, which is our SPI Causeway camera. Uh, this one's through uh, TxDOT as well. They're showing us uh, some of the strong winds that are moving through the area. Uh, but again, really, the only concern now is out towards Cameron County as that cluster starts to move out towards the east. Uh, Hidalgo County no longer any uh, under any warning, uh, but still has having that watch until about 10 p.m. The only warning we have left uh, that is a cause of concern now is out towards Cameron as it moves from Harlingen to Rio Hondo. And now, as you can tell there, South Padre Island, uh, as we continue to see some of these strong winds uh, and damaging uh, storms uh, moving through that region. And the hail. And the hail. The hail, the biggest concern is obviously the hail. I've heard that a time or two. <laughs> now we're talking about the, uh, the thunderstorm activity continuing to move in and out of uh, western Star County and move to the northeast, thank goodness, as we noted um, as well. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the whole valley. Actually, let's go on to Cameron County because we were just talking about that and see just how this is all going to continue to progress. Let's take a look at the here and now, shall we, and note what's going on in terms of radar. And we can see there it is, uh, 822, 820, yeah, that's an old image. Let me back up. And then let me get to that and see how some of this is all continuing to move on into the area. I'm going to step out of the frame and uh, move that by hand so that you can see just what's going on here. All oh, the lightning, 614 strikes. That is a lot of lightning associated with this uh, group of activity. And then again, we're going to continue to monitor that moving into the uh, eastern part of Cameron County. So that the, um, the uh, as you talk about that, let me yes. let me give people an update really quickly. That severe thunderstorm warning is going to remain in effect until about 8:45 p.m. and that's going to uh, you know uh, really uh, be just north of Los Fresnos um, into the northern part of Port Isabel as well. Uh, Arroyo City, obviously a bit of concern for them in Rio Hondo. So Harlingen, San Benito, Rio Hondo, Palm Valley, Arroyo City, uh, Laureles, uh, Brownsville, Primera, all of these areas uh, unfortunately under uh, this where we could 
could see some strong, uh, big hail coming through the area. And of course, 70 mile per hour wind gusts are a possibility. Um, and this lasts until 845. So we still got about 45 minutes left until it does end. And then of course, we have that other uh, severe thunderstorm warning in effect. Uh, that one until 9, uh, 9, um, 915, excuse me. Okay. Uh, and that's moving out towards the northeast. And Futurecast shows us that of course, past nine o'clock, the bulk of this all moves off and away and then pushes out. So that would savvy with the thunderstorm watch that's in effect until 10 o'clock because that's 1049 right there and everything is done. The whole thing is complete. Again, I'll show you that movement in case you missed it. Expecting all of this to continue to press on down to the southeast and break away the heaviest activity moving on out over the water. And that is that. I'm gonna get back to the watches and warnings. Here we go. And you can see the ones associated with um, our Star County Beast there from El Saus and Falcon moving towards San Ysidro uh, toward the northeast and staying that track. Uh, this is something that uh, folks to our north in Brooks County and is in Encino and north in Brooks County will have to concern themselves with big time as that is a major hail maker. And you pointed out the thunderstorm warning in um, Cameron County is in effect until 845 and the thunderstorm watch is in effect until 10 o'clock. So um, overall, we're gonna continue to monitor that and um, uh, watch it continue to move in it's hail production there we've updated there good well you can see how quick and just within the past five minutes of us talking how far it's moved out towards the east making its way just uh uh already over los fresnos uh, and san Benito and into olmito and rancho viejo as well yes and you can see some of the updated imagery here uh right on the money and uh the, continuing to push on through rio hondo but uh freddie i think you'll take note that yes uh, it's awfully quiet outside now yes <laughs> it is push through like that and then done. And that's why we're not going to get a big drought relief out of this thing at all. Because moving at 30 and 40 miles an hour, it's dumping the water and then moving on off to the east. Rio Hondo, San Benito, you're still seeing a bunch of this and uh, continuing to move on down through. Let's take a look at the updated directions. Uh, still a good clip. Yep, 38 miles an hour. Uh, look at the one moving to the southeast here. Okay, now that's 16 miles an hour. That's a little bit better. And then you have, uh, well, no, <laughs> it's relative. If you have movement within a cell inside the storm, the storm is moving 45 miles an hour or 40, and then the cell itself is moving 30 miles an hour within the storm, that's why I calculated at 75 miles an hour. Just a quick explainer. I didn't want anybody thinking that these storms are moving at 75 miles an hour for pity's sake, but again, they are moving to the southeast, continuing at that 30 plus mile an hour range and heading on down into Los Fresnos. And uh, we'll go on down in and, and check out what's going on around San Benito. Our good friends in San Benito, the Rosaka City. And you can see uh, up and down Expressway 8377, lots of rain out there. You don't wanna be out in that. Nobody wants to be out in that. So just go ahead and stop and wait for this to pass. Uh, on back in through, um, there's Mayfield Road. Yeah, <laughs> there's Mayfield there. Uh, before, be, uh, be, Brian, before we wrap up this coverage, uh, as most of it starts to move out towards the east, um, I'm glad that you brought up San Benito. Let's bring up a camera from TxDOT. This one is in McCullough Road. Uh, this is oh, in San no Benito way. right now. Yeah. Uh, and you're able to see uh, the heavy rainfall that's falling within that area. Uh, but this is the last of it for a lot of this area, this region, as it moves out towards the east um, into a lot of, uh, you know, the, uh, the well, I don't want to call it, uh, you know, Rio Hondo into uh, northern part of Bayview and, and Port Isabel. Um, but with the severe threat now moving closer and closer to the edge, um, you know, Los Fresnos seeing some heavy showers. But as far as hail, um, it looks like that's already starting to die off, which is great news. So all we're contending with now is just some heavy rainfall. Um, yeah, the so biggest threat is out in rural Star County. So yeah. we're going to go ahead and, and wrap up the coverage here because the worst of it is over um, for everything but as I said that this group here which is heading on off toward Jim Hogg and Brooks County the rest of this is dying down in intensity but it, if, by the look of the video you still don't want to be out in this so if you're in Cameron County Eastern Willacy County just stay home for a little while all right if anything pops up additional we'll go ahead and be back here with it ASAP thanks for joining us